The perfect pair of underwear, does it exist? Well, in today's video, gents, we're going to find out. I'm pitting briefs versus boxers versus boxer briefs. We're going to have a bit of a cage fight and there is going to be a victor. There is going to be one that is going to stand above all of them at the end of this video. Now, gents, let me lay down the rules. Five rounds here. First, we're going to talk about appearance. Then we're going to talk about comfort. Then we're going to talk about functionality, versatility. And finally, we're going to talk about what is the lady's preference. And guys, let me know down below, what is your ranking? I want to hear if you love briefs, if you love boxer briefs, if you are a boxer's man, let me know in the comments down below. Oh, and go check out our sponsor. I'm going to link them below. Tanny. You guys know I've been wearing Tanny underwear for 18 months or maybe you don't know but I started working with them last year. I have to say an amazing company and here is why I love Tanny. The fit, the build, everything is great but it's the fabric of all the underwear I've ever seen. When it comes actually for many things, when it comes to fabric, these guys are leading the charge. They're using amazing materials. This pair of underwear right here has a four-way stretch. It actually has a breathable fabric, a three-dimensional weave, which makes it able to wick away moisture. So definitely go check them out and let me know which specific pair you'd like to get sent to you because I do have some extra pairs and I would love to send them out. Round number one, let's talk about appearance. Okay, so coming in at number three, guys, are briefs. And if you're eight years old, you're in the Transformers, there's some great options out there and maybe they'd be ranked number one then. But for most men that are buying their own underwear, it's going to be something that we want a few extra patterns. We want maybe something that's going to accentuate our natural build or for a little bit heavier set, actually build up that lower body. So let's go into number two, boxers. Like I said, if you've got a little bit of a stomach, you're a little bit bigger of a guy, boxers are great because whenever you're walking around your underwear, they actually look better on you. But if you've got a decent, somewhat decent, decent build. You want to look at boxer briefs. Number one on my list, guys, boxer briefs popped onto the scene in the 1990s. Marky Mark made them popular with his big billboard ads. But what we see here with the boxer brief is the best of both worlds, especially if you have a somewhat attractive body build. These things, when you're walking around at your girlfriend's place, definitely they're going to look great. And that's what it comes down to appearance. A lot of guys are concerned how they're going to appear in front of their significant other, perhaps their girlfriend, something like that. So this is why I have this number one. It actually is something very important to many men out there. Round two, guys, let's talk about comfort. So coming in at the last spot here, I've got boxers. And this may be a little bit controversial because I know many of you guys are going to say, Antonio, what are you talking about? Boxers are the most comfortable pair of underwear that I own. It's like wearing nothing. I've got, you know, no support down there. I just get to let, let the boys hang out. And that's the double-edged sword, guys, is that you don't have any support down there. And that may be great if you're not really active, if you're not moving around, if you are relatively young. But as you get older, things get a bit more sensitive. You want support, especially if you're active. So in the number two spot, I've got boxer briefs. You get a little bit of the best of both worlds, more coverage here again, and you've also got support in for the boys. But number one, I've got briefs. In my opinion of briefs, when it comes to support, if they are well-made, if you've got a pair of briefs which is made from a great fabric and doesn't have any hot spots, no, no tight spots on those briefs, they just fit you well. The great part, you've got full freedom of movement and in my opinion, the most comfortable pair of underwear you can own. Round number three, functionality. This is your underwear doing its job, which I equate with basically protecting your clothing and protecting basically the view of those boys, keeping them in its place and not exposing them to the world. So number three on the list, guys, is going to be boxers. And let me tell you why. So you go to the gym, you're wearing a pair of boxers and a pair of you know loose knit shorts, and you're there doing some sit-ups. That woman you've been wanting to speak with, she comes up, she looks down, and you have just given her a full view. Now, some of you guys may be into that, but for most of us, that's not the signal we're wanting to send here. So that's why when it comes to the functionality of actually protecting your clothing, Boxers do an okay job, but when it comes to keeping the boys in their place and keep them covered, it doesn't always do the best job. Now, number two, we've got briefs, and briefs do a great job of keeping the boys in their place. The issue I have with briefs is that they don't cover the inner parts of the thigh and they can cause chafing, especially if you're moving around a bit. And that's why, number one, I've got boxer briefs, the best of both worlds. They cover your inner thigh, they keep the boys in their place, they keep them covered, guys, and you can safely wear them to the gym. Round number four, gentlemen, let's talk about versatility. And this is your underwear being able to be used as something else. So coming in at number three, guys, there's no hiding the fact if you are in 
briefs, you are wearing underwear. The silhouette, everything about it is there's no hiding this. And if the alarm goes off one o'clock in the morning, you've got a fire alarm at your dorm and you go running out in your briefs, there's no hiding the fact that you are in your underwear. Coming in closely at number two, boxer briefs. You've got maybe a little bit more coverage. If it's cold outside, you're going to maybe stave off frostbite a little bit longer. But the point is you're still in your underwear. But number one on the list, guys, boxers, they get the victory because, hey, you know, not only do you have a little bit of an air pocket there, you got a little bit of protection if it's cold outside. But, you know, some people may say, hey, he's just wearing a pair of shorts and you've got an undershirt on. They're not going to let you back in the dorm for a while. You may say, hey, I'm just going to go to that party that I hear raging on in the next dorm room and you are good to go. Finally, gents, round number five, ladies preference. So coming in at spot number three, we've got briefs. Maybe it reminds a lot of women of what their little brother used to wear around the house, but for some reason, briefs are not viewed in the best light by the ladies. Now, I think if you've got a great build, good looking body, and you've got a pair that are made from a good quality fabric, you can definitely pull off briefs. But coming in at number two, we've got boxers. A lot of women do like the boxers. They like especially the look if you've really got skinny legs and overall, if maybe you've got a little bit of extra weight weight here in the midsection. They can add a little bit of weight down there. But coming in at number one, boxer briefs, gentlemen, by a landslide. Easily the ones that women, when they look at it, they're like, this is something I like to see on my man, especially if you've got a good to decent build. Even if you're a little bit big, guys, be confident, feel good about yourself, and try to pull off those boxer briefs. All right, gentlemen, before I reveal the final score, I want to remind you to go check out Tanny. They've sent me some extra product. I want to send it your way to win. All you have to do is let me know down in the comments specifically what you would like to receive. So go to their website, look at the exact details. The more details you put in there, the better. And I can tell you guys, for 18 months, I've been wearing their underwear, the best underwear I've ever worn. And it all is, it's all about the fabric. The fact that they use cutting edge fabrics, whether it be their loungewear, which is amazing, their underwear, which which is awesome, or their undershirts, which are incredibly comfortable and something I wear around the house. My wife loves the feel of it. I mean, it's just little things like that make it worth it. All right, Jen, so here is the final ranking. Remember, the lower the score, the better. So coming in at third place with 12 points, briefs. Coming in at second place with 11 points, boxers. And by a landslide, coming in at first place with seven points, Boxer briefs. Now, in my opinion, boxer briefs are the best option out there. But here's the deal is that's my opinion. You need to go out there and make the right decision for you because the perfect pair of underwear is going to depend on the man, depend on his needs, depend on his body type. So guys, let me know down in the comments below what's the perfect pair of underwear for you and I will see you in the next video.